During this video, I will demonstrate you how to make a tiny micro jihad for lure fishing. Just like this one in the center. As you can see, this thing is tiny. And for that, you will need very, very affordable and basic components. For example, you will need slotted tungsten beads. You can get them in variety of sizes and variety of colors as well. One of my favorite colors is multicolor one or rainbow one it's called. Then you will need some hooks as well. And I can recommend two patterns. As you can see in the shot here. The first one it's called chick hook. So the part of a shank it's bent at 60 degrees as you can see. And the other pattern which is even better in my opinion is nymph hook. And those hooks are used in fly fishing or fly tying. Also you will need a UV torch which will be used in conjunction with UV glue or UV resin to make all the process quick and simple. So I hope this video will be useful for you guys. Stick around. Okay, I will start by removing everything what I don't need. And put all those items out of the shot. I will leave just what I need so it will be a hook and a single bead. It's very very basic so I have my hook here and my bead and as you can see that slotted bead has a hole through it and one side of that hole or entering into the bead is quite open so that's a slotted side and the other side has much smaller hole so I want to start threading that bead onto the hook from that side which has smaller hole so from this one I will hold the, the bead just like that we'll try to make it as visible as possible and then I will thread that hook through the bead Obviously, you might need to match the size of the hook to the bead, but in this case I have size 14 hook and 4 millimeter slotted bead. And yeah, half of the job is done already. Now I will hold my hook just like that, just to make sure that the slot kind of is looking or is orientated vertically if you like. Just to make sure that the most of the weight of that bead is kind of below the shank and this will enable me to have a better presentation where the hook's point will be looking upwards most of the time. So just like that. And then I will grab that UV glue and obviously you want to get the UV glue with a fine kind of exit point or fine nozzle if you like. And then you want to apply very, very little droplet of that UV glue onto the bead. And then give, I don't know, three, four, five seconds. And then put your UV on it quite quick. You, you don't want to be risking that the glue would reach the eye of the hook. That would be really a nightmare because then glue would cover your eye and you would not be able to or hook's eye and you would not be able to get your line through the eye that really would be a nightmare so once you did that and you kept your uv i don't know above the jihad for five ten seconds you can actually do something like that what i like to do just to make sure that i cure my uh jihads properly i like to drop it on a white background and then just put my UV torch on top and leave, you know, for, for a minute. And then I know, you know, that 
my glue is properly cured and it just will not give up you know on me whilst I'm fishing so that's a great tip so yeah as you can see I have very very sturdy very simple really neat jihad and it will be perfect for many many species trout grayling bream perch for those guys who live in United States, it will be perfect for crappy, bluegill, all those finesse species as well. And then once you have your tiny G head, obviously you want to match the lure. For example, I have this one, even though it's a tiny little thing, but I will cut it in half. I could use this side as well, but let's say I want to have super super delicate presentation so I just will use a tail and you will see how this all setup will look like Bosh so this thing now will catch everything big fish small fish predatory fish prey fish anything really crayfish <laughs> probably as well so yeah fantastic little chicken with the lure on it and I will leave links for everything you saw in the description so hooks tungsten beads so slurs glue UV torch and so on so I hope this video will be useful for you guys Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.